first of all, let's address the fact that I've had a shave. I know I've had a shave. Uh, I feel better. I needed to. It was driving me mad. It was itchy and I kept getting it caught in my coat. So that's that. It's been a while since uh, I've done a sit down and talk in front of the camera. So I thought I'd do one today. One, I don't feel very well today. And two, uh, some things that I need to get off my chest. Um, having cancer isn't fun. Life can be fun, but having cancer isn't fun. The mental anguish of it all is just mad, if I'm honest. Um, some days I'm like really up, and then some days I'm like really down. Um, some days it's heartbreaking. Some days I wouldn't want to get out of bed. Uh, some days I just don't know how to talk to people, don't know how to interact with people. Some days I'm aggressive, some days I'm not. Some days I'm full of worry, some days I'm not. There's no simple answer to this like stupid word cancer. And there's so many different types of cancer that some aren't treatable. Some really can't be treated. And mine at the moment is proving to be in that bracket. And that is scary. That is something that worries me. And as much as I'm researching it and I'm trying to like learn everything I can about it and try and find the best people in the world to help me, there's only so much that I physically can do. And there's only so much that my body can do. And I know I gallivant off and I go and like do some like videos with drones and like multiple cameras or whatever, but that is because I'm in those places anyway. And I like to film things. It calms me down. This vlog, doing this vlog and explaining how I feel actually calms me down. But it's hard. It's hard. And it seems like every day becomes a bit more of a struggle, just like to kind of keep normal. And then you've got the perception of the world and how you perceive the world and then how the world perceives you. And those perceptions that the world has of you as a cancer patient or someone with cancer is, you've got to look like you're dying. You've got to look like you're sick. Let me tell you straight now, I don't have to look like anything. I don't have to be that stereotypical cancer patient. I don't have to be that stereotypical person. I love life, I love living life, and I love the great outdoors. But, The mental anguish of it all hurts. Just from my experience alone, I can tell you it's a dark and lonely place. And from my experience, it's hard to not try and take your own life sometimes. It's hard to like carry on. And I've got that don't give in, don't give up attitude that I keep going on about. And I've got that right instilled in me. And I don't want to give in and I don't want to give up and I'm not going to give in and I'm not going to give up. But you still have those mental thoughts that kind of creep into your head and tell you, just stop it, give up. And that's normal. It's about how you push through it. And I've found an outlet that I enjoy and I love and it helps me get through the day. It helps me understand things. Looking at the like small bits of the world that are beautiful or looking at something that's natural, normal. That, that, that is what I need to just cope. Coping isn't easy. Coping with this isn't easy at all. And then we got the thing of the DNA sequencing and 
um, the 100,000 genome project and stuff. And that's all worrying because if that doesn't work, that's potentially my, my only option gone. And diet and intake of certain things or medication or chemo or radiotherapy can only do so much. Especially when something spreads and is as vast and fast spreading as what I've got. Days like this are normal. Days like this are normal where people feel down. Days like this can't be controlled and days like this can't be pushed aside because they happen to everyone. But like everyone says, tomorrow's a new day. And hopefully tomorrow will be better. Tomorrow I should get all my hospital results and know a bit more about what's going on. And hopefully tomorrow will bring some good. And if it doesn't, then find another way. Like in Jurassic Park, life will find a way. So yeah, run over. See you tomorrow and I'll be a little happier. See you later. Ta-ta. Bye.